somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere Ooh. waiting for me. My lover stands on golden sands and watches the ships that go sailing. How'd you guys like that? That's probably the first time I've ever sung on recording. Hey guys, Mr. Skeleton here, and um, yeah, let's try that again. Hey guys, Mr. Skeleton here, back with some more Super Mario 64 Extra. I do apologize that I've been gone for almost a week. I didn't realize it's been almost a week since my last upload. As I've been working on, uh, I've been working on trying to record a decent speedrun of Shantae Half Genie Hero Hero Mode 80%, which has not gone well at all. So let me fix this right here so it doesn't capture this part of the screen down there. Okay. So in the last episode, we died so many times towards the end. <laughs> Uh, I didn't even remember what the oof counter was. I'll have to go back and check the video. <laughs> uh, but in the meantime, let's not go there. I, let's, uh, I don't know what level I want to do. <sighs> Organic Valley, let's do it. Alright, so we've already got, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I think I'm on the wrong file. Hold on. Ah, oh, wrong one. <sighs> Let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart but your head gets dumb. Alright, so we are now on the proper file. I should have realized more A was uh, my original file I started playing this game on. So this is Top of the Mountain. I don't even remember where to go. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground run. Oh, okay. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see, so what's wrong with taking the back street? You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't glow. Uh, if you can't tell, All Star by Smash Mouth is one of my all-time favorite songs. I don't care what anybody says. It is a very good song. Okay, so... Is that a star up there that I see? It is a star, so let's go get it. I don't think it's the right star we're supposed to get, but oh well. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Oh. Oh, snap. Oh. Oh. Oh! I am stuck! No, I'm not. Ah! Why did I do that? Oh, you know what? I just realized I could do this. I'll do that. There we go. <laughs> Finally caught up to my practice file, even though I haven't played it ever since I first played it for the first time. Oh, I think I got a pimple on my back. It hurts, kind of. On a tree. I think that's the first time I ever got that star, actually. Alright, well, I don't remember where to... I don't remember if I even unlocked the cannon in my practice file. So, let's, uh... Try to do that. <sighs> Where is this music from? That's what I want to know. You know, speaking of music, let's talk about music this episode. Because why not? 
What's y'all's favorite song? I'm just curious. I don't know. Like, what, like li name a list of your top five favorite songs. Uh, if you don't remember the artist, it's fine. Just like the name of it will, you know. Or if you don't even know the name of it, just like maybe type down some lyrics and I'll try to find it. And I'll check it out. But like, a list of my top five favorite songs. Number five was weighing in at, um... Uh, all Star by Smash Mouth. Uh, it is one of my all-time favorite songs, but it is just really good. Weighing in at number four for me is gonna be Smooth Criminal by Michael Jackson. Uh, Michael Jackson is such a classic when it comes to music, man. You know, you've been hit by, you've been hit by a smooth criminal. Oh man. Oh, that's. Okay, I did get the right star. Okay, anyway, re weighing in at number four, what, or number three, I meant, what is my number three favorite song? That's a good question. What is it? It would probably have to be... I'm going to put it a tie between Christina V's version and Little V's. I think it's Little V. Let me search that up. Hold on. I have it downloaded on my phone. Hold on a second. Darby and Just Went Live. Yeah, I know. I got the notification a bit ago. Yeah, Little V. Uh, Christina V and Little V's version of Dance Through the Danger. Just... For one, I, li I really like Christina V's version a lot. Just for one, her voice is very captivating in, the, in that song. Um, okay, I don't even know where I'm going anymore. <laughs> and Little V's version is just really epic. You know... I don't. I've never really seen a, any covers of "Dance to the Danger," but Little V managed to pull it off really good. Vocals, guitar, drums, everything just made it sound really good. Number two, that would have to be. There's the pond over there. Anyway, number two would have to be. Gosh, what would number two be? How do you get over there? Oh, okay. <laughs> that really tickled my stomach. Okay, anyway. Enough of that. Enough of that. Don't even do that anymore. Anyway, number two for me would have to be... Shit, I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. What would number two for me be? I thought I had this planned out, but I guess I didn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, number two. Oh, I got it. Number two would have to be You Give Love a Bad Name by Bon Jovi. You know, shot through the heart and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. I played my part and you played your game. You give love a bad name such so also another good song and for me number one I don't know what number one is for me actually honestly I really don't know <laughs> I'm gonna go through my list of songs real fast hold on uh, number one for me would have to be dynamite by Tayo Cruz or Cruz however you pronounce it it is another really good song. Okay. Oh, we've made more progress in this episode than we have in the past couple of episodes. <laughs> That's so great. Oh, man. We're almost halfway there at least. Okay, shoot to a hidden ledge. Now, this is where I'm lost at. Wait. Are there floating? St oh, no, those are trees. Okay, in terms of the floating ledge, I don't know where that's at. I don't even remember where I unlocked the cannon at. So... But yeah, there's some really good music out there, like Bon Jovi. System of a Down has some pretty good music. I used to listen to Radio Video and Lonely Day with my older brother all the time. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Radio Video will always be a favorite of mine, just, you know... 
for the simple fact of nostalgia and it also reminds me of my older brother. So does Lonely Day, but not as much as um, not as much as a uh, radio video does. Lonely Day actually, if that reminds me of really more than anything, it reminds me of my friend Kevin. He sounds more like him than really. <laughs> oh my gosh. At least I don't know if he does, I don't know if Kevin sounds like that anymore nowadays. It's actually been a while since I've seen him. Uh, excuse me. Well, we can also search for the red coins too. While looking for the bee bomb. <laughs> the bee bomb. What the heck? There's the mountain. Oh, man. Okay, so. You know, Bon Jovi's got some pretty good music. I've only really listened to a few Bon, like a couple of Bon Jovi songs, like "One at Dead or Alive" and "You Give Love a Bad Name." Um, Ozzy Osbourne has some pretty good music, and even then, I've only listened to two of his songs as well. That being "Crazy Train" and "I Don't Want to Stop." Um, like I said, "System of a Down's pretty good. Some of their songs are a bit ex on the explicit, on the on the a bit on the explicit side. But it's really not too bad. You know, Demon Hunter is not too bad. One of my favorite songs. And my only, the only song I've ever listened to by Demon Hunter is uh, Artificial Light. And that's only, that's one, one of the only reasons why. Because my friend Silas showed it to me. Tagged me on Facebook one day. Um, Artificial Light. Um, this War is Ours by Escape the Fate is really good. This song kind of reminds me about Halo, actually. The game Halo. Uh, Halo is also such a good game too. Um, Dragonborn by uh, whatever. Even though that's the main theme for Skyrim, it's still a really good song. Jeremy Soul, Sole or something like that. Okay, so where is this bomb at? Yeah, I'm not really paying attention to the music on this stage. Where is it from? I'm just going back up to the top of the hill to see if I can't, like... Oh, no, no, don't you dare fall, Maro. <laughs> Maro. Where the heck did I get the name Maro? Oh, wait, I got it from PBG. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so let us try to find where the b bomb could be at. Is that where a star could be? I see a star. So I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna try not to do any speedrun tactics. I'm gonna try to find the b bomb. Let's go try over there. Oh snap! Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? No! 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 Okay. You know what? Let's try this one more time. Nope. Okay. So, back up the mountain. I think. This is probably the biggest stage there is. Unless, I don't, uh, I don't want to even imagine what the last level is like to be. At least not yet. I'm not even, uh. You know, there's only very few games I've ever played to 100%. Where am I at, even? Those games being Wind Wake, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, which is the only Zelda game I've ever played to 100%, sadly. And there's a red coin. What the? Okay. Uh, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy. Um... Sadly, I've never 100%ed a Final Fantasy game, and I don't think I ever will. Especially the HD versions of Final Fantasy X and X2, because you gotta collect all the trophies now and everything. Um, let's see here. Oh, Shantae, Half Genie Hero. I 100%ed that my first playthrough, actually. Um, what other games have I 100%ed? Wait, did I pass the bomb? 
that is obviously a bad bomb. Oh, well, it was a thought. Okay, so let's try to go back up there and find where I was trying to go. But yeah, uh, let's see here. Mario 64, Sunshine, Galaxy, Wind Waker, Half Genie Hero. Um, I want to say the original Super Smash Brothers and Super Smash... No, not Super Smash Bros. Melee, because I never collected all the trophies. Um, do, 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 There's not really that many games I've ever played to 100%. I feel bad now. Okay, so we're gonna go over that away. Wait. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. Okay, whatever. Wait, I feel bad now. There's hardly any games I've ever played to 100%. Now that I think about it. RPGs for me are the hardest, I think, to 100%. I think the closest I've ever gotten to 100%ing any RPG would... I, I would I would say Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga for the Game Boy. Oh, speaking of that, did you guys hear that Nintendo, I believe, was remaking that for the 3DS? It's gonna be so good. Hopefully, it's good. If not, I'm gonna be okay. If, uh, what the heck? If not, I'm gonna be highly disappointed in Nintendo. Cause that is such a good game. Wait. Yeah, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga is such a good game, and that's what created the Mario and Luigi games. It's such a good game. If you guys have not played it, I highly, highly, highly recommend playing Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. It is, v it is a good RPG Nintendo game, basically. Oh, I thought I could make that. It is so good, though. Um, what other good RPGs are there out there? Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles is really good. Oh, don't tell me I'm fixing the... No. Wait. Where is this stupid bomb? Where is this stupid bomb at? This is driving me nutso. Nutso, who says that? You know, and then watch it be like someplace very obvious. Uh, let's see here. Xenoblade Chronicles is good. Xenogears is another one that's very good. It is... I would venture to say... Here, right, hold on. Oh, my eye. It's itchy. Oh, okay. Oh. I would venture to say that Xenogears and Final Fantasy VII... Yes, I said it. Final Fantasy VII are my two all-time favorite RPGs. But in terms of favorite Final Fantasies, that's a tie between 6 and 7. Okay, so let's try to find where that led. The fence was... Ah, something's like crawling on my back, it's itchy. Once I passed it, which I hope I didn't. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, you know, I didn't pass it. Okay. Must have a bomb be up there. Oh, there's a red coin. There is the there is the bomb. I saw it. I just saw it. There we go. Okay. Finally. Come on, Mauro talk to him. We're a piece of a bomb, so we don't use cannons. But if you like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. We'll prepare all the cannons in this course for you to use. Bon voyage. You know, Nintendo, you know, in the original, I don't remember if Nintendo said bomb voyage, but they didn't. They missed a chance. Tomato Bird missed a chance to say bomb voyage. Play off the Incredibles there. Bon voyage. Rrrr, Mr. Incroyable. Incroyable. I don't know how you say that in Italian or whatever. Whatever language it is. I want to say it's Italian. Mr. Incroyable. 
I, I don't know many other languages at all, except for English, and that makes me sad. I know, like, very, 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 very little Spanish. Like, counting up to five. And I think, you know, hello, and whatnot. And that's all I know in Spanish. I started learning Japanese at one point. You know, I know very little Japanese, you know. I know how to count to ten in Japanese. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shichi, hachi, kyu, and ju. That's counting up to ten in Japanese. You know, I know how to say, um... Um... Uh, snap. I, I know how to ask, you know, do you understand English? In Japanese, which is ego ga wakaremasu You know, and whatnot. Okay, so enough talking about languages. It's time to collect the eight red coins. Oh, snap. I, you know, I didn't venture. I, di I didn't, I forgot there's a hundred coin. So, you know, we're gonna do our first 100 coin star along with the eight red coins. Oh, you know, I'm not looking forward to doing the red coins because these levels are so big though. So huge, it's intimidating almost. 